past, the mysterious Qigong was regarded as mystical or even as magic by some. But studies have found that the qi movements within the body can be tracked by a heat detector. Of course, the only way to maximize the qi energy is by repeating the exercises day after day. The human fists are fragile. Although often used in attacks, fists are prone to damage. If you wish to be more powerful, you must strengthen them. Place a piece of paper on a wall. Punch it for two hours without stopping. Replace the paper when it's broken. The wall may deteriorate, but eventually the hand becomes immune. The brain is the most important organ of the human body. Serious injury or damage to the brain can be fatal. To protect it, the skull must be strengthened. All you have to do is hit your skull with your palms for two hours every day to harden it. Then bang your head against a sandbag for two hours to train it to resist the shock of an attack. Hard Qigong masters believe that the skull becomes up to four times harder than that of a normal person after two years of such continuous practice. Another very delicate part of the body, the neck, is particularly vulnerable to attack. Injuries here can lead to paralysis and death. A headstand loads the weight of the entire body onto the neck. Practice an hour every day for a year and then you can progress to neck hanging. neck exercise consists simply of hanging by the neck from a cloth noose. At first it is only bearable for two to three seconds but eventually the body can be supported for minutes at a time by which time you'll have mastered the technique. The iron neck is very useful in actual combat. It enables you to free yourself and counter-attack should your enemy have your neck in an arm lock. It is clear that Shaolin Kung Fu emphasizes both actual combat and mental theory. This balance explains why it is the leading school of Chinese Kung Fu.